Hey everyone, Son of Beast and Terry Crews here. This is NHL Stanley Cup Playoffs 24 on EA Sports. Hi everyone, Woods Spoonie here and welcome back. Welcome to the second day of the NHL of the Stanley Cup Playoffs on EI Sports. I'm here with, along with me, Phone 4, and of course, Ballpoint Pan. This will be the next game to get this thing started for the first side facing against the wildcard teams of the number one and number two spot. Right in between of those two, this will be one of the biggest matchups that we are about to be seeing. And that's right, we are definitely going to see what's going on right in between of us two. And I have never seen what's going on like this. Like you never know what to expect and what it is. But all it happens to be one each of a time. And that can be important to find who they go for. And that's what I was looking for. You may never know what could happen. If there's another choice up that they can try to keep on attacking. Well, there's one way that we can handle it all. This is where it starts here. Washington Capitals are now in the wildcard position and they've won their games. They are back into the playoffs since season one of the NHL 22. Now it's time we like to see if the Washington Capitals can get right back into work and do it more game. And they are facing against the Bruins, the number one seeded team in the Atlantic Division. Now let's go over here. I'm going to start right over here to Washington Capitals on that side. You know, there was one I was not even worried about. I was looking at Alex Ovechkin. He may have had one of his cap, like, you know, like he's like the biggest captain of the game. All you can say now, he has a 1T Ely 1 timers. Has it all done with one of his percentage here. But I want to know, what could this happen if Alex Ovechkin does it again? Well, there might be one place. You may never know how's it gonna happen like that. You may never guess it, or what this is gonna look like. And the other side over here is John Carlson with the thunderclap of an alien slap shot from the point. This might have happened to be one of their better techniques, but it may not be hard enough if they're trying to do it with their own technique. And the superstar players are Tom Wilson, it's a true lens, and of course it's DJ Yoshi. All alone. Happens to be one of them if he does. Thank you so much, there, Mike. Now let's move on into the Boston Bruins side. On the other side, we have his favorite posture knocks. He has a snipe on his early puck settling that he has been doing of his own technique. After last season with the win of the defending champion of the NHL 23 on EA Sports, they're looking like they wanted to get more. But they might have to find out if they can try to beat over it. Vance Charlie McAvoy would stick him up immediately with an any defensive stick. Has that shut down and keeping it all that set in and take the type and bouncer and ice bar. Ben Brad Barshawn, he has a no contest to get this one game done. An any puck battling, then it was ankle breaker and does it everybody. He might want to see what he can do. And Linus Olmark is your starting goaltender for the instance. And that would be on the Bruins that can take all of this relentless wise that you can definitely try to go with the anticipation from the tricky shot with the tricky side. Then the superstar players are Jeremy Swyman, the second goaltender of the night, and Hampus Limpo. Well, you ready to see what it is? <laughs> I'm ready. Yeah, bring me in. This could be one way to another. Now let's send you down to Tiny Garden. Standing by I have is Terry Cruz, along with the other crews of the, of the one and only you all called it for, Son of Vice, and definitely that DJ Beast. Son of Vice will be all for everything, it's OJ. I'll be back with the three of us in between for the three star players and of course the statistics. Let's get into game time. Game one, here we go. Hey everybody, it's Terry Crews here at TD Garden Arena. It's time to find out the American teams. It's the Caps and the Bruins ready for the playoffs. It's about that time. 
Along with me, Son of Peace and TJ Peace, this is NHL on EA Sports. Coverage of the Stanley Cup Playoffs. Here we go, we're on our way into Boston. Let's rumble. We start things on here for the Boston Bruins as now Coyle has that puck. Kick the pass to Marchand. On a shot! What a save here by Lindgren. Two-time stop. You know, the hard part of it, I know that the Capitals have been really been dominated out. They've been here so long since ever been playing for the first season. But then, back in 2018, it was the biggest part of the attackers that they've ever been facing against. It was not what they usually did. They wanted to see how they could do. You know, I really like, because that is a lot of great attacking forces. But they're doing the best. Pasternak's got the puck in the Caps territory. Saved by Lindgren. Starting goaltender for the Washington Capitals will be, will be Lindgren. And Swayman is the starting goaltender for the Boston Bruins. Officials are getting set ready for the faceoff. No score in the first game. After a faceoff win, here's Milano. But you're ready. Find Edmondson. And now he finds it over to Strom. Strom lost the puck as Zaka has it. Turns it over, now finds McAvoy. McAvoy, right toward the right slot. Chops the puck up as Edmondson will have it over again to Peretti. Milano will have it. Milano in the middle, shoots, gloved by Swayman. We'll stop the play inbound with just 17 16 to go. And a good update to call this one that Swayman has never been played in the postseason. But thanks for Linus Allmark, Swayman's got that perfect feeling of how he can handle. Well, the hard part is that they are really are going over for the shot angles. They're trying to make sure if he can get there that clean. Delayed penalty call. That'll be a tripping call on Jake DeBrus. First penalty kill will be on Boston Bruins, and the Caps will take their first power play. You know the problem right now? Because that, trip, that tripping call is not easy. That is a hard one. Yeah, that's a dangerous result. Not a good defective. Alex Ovechkin has a one-team time ability from his team that will lead him up into the playoffs of the postseason. He's looking for his way if he can try to take one-team attackers to have an early lead for the Washington Capitals. Let's find out if he does one. Back to you. Strong recovers the puck. Battling for the loose puck and a chain. Washington recovers the puck. He scores! Anthony Manfa, that's his first goal of the season in the playoffs, 120. You know what happens because Anthony Manfa had that goal earlier to make the range. He makes that one sloppy. He wants to take the beat over Swayman, and he did. He had that one coming in forward fast. That's what you always do. Just try not to stick over it if you can keep on coming down. Anthony Mepha, he's been really been going over us right now. I mean, he's like keeping an eye on the gap. Looking for more room if he can get another goal. The win for the Boston Bruins is McAvoy will have it. In the right wing, he gives it over now to Zaka. Shot saved by Lindgren. Lindgren stops the puck here with only 16-21 to go in the first period. We haven't hit the midway mark of the period. One that face the score. Zaka wins the faceoff. He goes down. Wilson has that puck. DeBrus got it down as Zaka has one. The Bruins are back into the Cats territory. McAvoy looking for more room. DeBrus has a shot. What a save by Lindgren. Goes over the net and in bound. Rebound again. Two times stopped by Lindgren. Well, Lindgren might have to do it all instead of Darcy Kjumper. That might have been a good feeling if he had it all. Ovechkin with the puck. Dumps it right into the Bruins territory. Grezik's got the puck. Trying to make his way down. Looks for Zaka. Shoes! Blocked by Lindgren. 14.43 left to go in the first period. So a lot of time left in between those two. Stone wins the faceoff. 
Jensen finds again to Milena. On the attack along the wing, in toward the middle, saved it up in the pad by Swayman. Coster knocks, got that buck. They move again to Coyle. Coyle goes down. Now back to Arroway, goes to Jensen. Jensen's got the buck right into the middle. Looks it over again, shot. What a save by Swayman. Oh, that one time move can put anybody. And you know, that is a good way that they can try to keep on coming out. That's a great save. Team just set, ready for another face off. Under 14 minutes to go in the first. Whereas Electric will win the game of the face off. Dumps it out. Jensen's got the puck now into this into the Bruins territory. Kick the pass to Prochella shot. Save again by Swingman. Valley for the loose puck. Now Prochella has that puck. Edmondson shot. What a stop by Swayman. And he denies it and then get ready for another face off. Now they're ready to do one again. Winning face off for the Bruins. He finds Larry. Larry swings to Heinen. Heinen over in the middle. Try to pass the Frederick shot. Save again by Lindgren. Curtis kicks the puck over. Now he finds again to Sandin. Sandin over to Mampa. The Caps are back into the transition in the offensive zone. Here's McMankle. Shoots! That one goes wide as he tumbles down. That was a hard one. The playable is not always what you do, but that keeps him out of here at true sight. Here's a shot. Frederick trying to hold on, but it's blocked, and Sandin's got it. Under 11.30 left, here's Sandin, the man five shot. What a stop by Swayman. He'll have to whistle here and get ready for another faceoff. Coming up in the Bruins territory. Officials again set, ready for the faceoff. 1-0 still the score. Washington wins the faceoff. Good glove by Swayman. That's what's going to have to be the hard muscle. Make that feel one painful, and this is what they all do. Keep on their cover. They're ready to bring another faceoff. Still a 1-0 lead in the first. Win again for Washington. Choose again. Try to put the puck out again. and Wilson's got it. Ovechkin, right to Carlson, shot. Saved up by Swayman. Here's another shot. Puts a stop at it. He scores! Alex Ovechkin, first goal in the playoffs. That's 823. They extend by two. I know what Alex Ovechkin does. Thunder clapped it, but after that, he put a rebound to put a habit gear on Swayman. When he went in there, he just had that one to break out. And he took over it, and he put Swayman right into the goalpost and in. That is a great look for Alex Ovechkin. He's been killing it right now. You know that. Now with the win here, Sandy. Ovechkin passes over to Wilson. Shot saved by Swayman. Nearing the midway mark of the period, it's still a 2-0 lead for the Washington Capitals. As we have the call, OJ standing by. Charlie McAvoy has a sick of up ability because he has been doing a lot of his defensive work on the settling. When he goes over with the defender and the offender has the puck, he can try to stick it up and try to put a sticklet in between. I'll see if Charlie McAvoy can have that one out to do with his own routine to stick it out with the puck and take the steal. Back to you. Zaka has that puck. Trying to beat over it. It goes stopped and it's Wilson with the puck. Now Ovechkin will have it. The Bruins have their puck advantage as Marchand has one. Slide it across the center. Ovechkin takes the steal. He bumps out. Corner now for Carlo. Give it to Marchand. Marchand tries to avoid it, but this one stops in for the visitor's bench. Coyle on the back. To pass the Bucks. What a save by Lindgren. Just nearing the 830 mark, it's still a 2-0 lead for the Capitals. 
Now they're ready to do one again. Nearing down the mark of the first period, still no score for the Bruins. Pasternak finds Lurie. Lurie got chopped up a bit, as Pertoretti will have that pucking advantage. Here's Strom. Strom making his way down. Lurie takes a puck steal. Unable to clear that puck. Malino on a rebound. What a stop by Swayman. That is really going to be a hard one because if Swayman knew that was coming, that is going to be a hard one to take. Another stop by Lindgren. Charlie finds Edmondson. Puck steal by Pasternak. Push a shot. Save it again by Lindgren. That is nowhere clear. He almost would have had that goal in time, but Lindgren got it all. Seven minutes remaining in the first period as Marshan has one. Try to take the contest, but it was blocked by Jensen. Push already on a breakaway chain. Save. Show him on the rebound. That one gets off the defender. And Kiki has that puck. On the attack around the range. To give off to Hayden. Hayden moves around. That can't stop. Save to get my great. Two for more. Oh, he denied that one. That one's going to be a hard one to take because Lindgren, keep on going. And Seth Kjumpor, keep on coming. Charlie McAvoy has a stick of ability for his defensive effort. He makes it suddenly to go worthwhile. Alex Ovechkin has a one T time ability. He has a lot of range. Trying to pick that one into a one time shot and had that all in coming. I'll be watching these two. These are the heavy ones. I have a lot of them to make the currency out of them and find out who could be the next one to get it done. Back to you, Terry. Oh, what a glove save by Lindgren. But it was too late as it was stopped by 5.15 to go. Now they're ready to do an our face off in the Caps territory. Now for the win, here's Carlson. He finds again to Abi Kubal. Poked it, and back again to Van Meich. Magavoy finally get it to Brusk. They brusk on, looking for help. Trying to cook the puck steal. Pull a rebound, and Rashadi scores! What a shot here made, and here are on the board. It's 2-1. You all have to make that one because Van Meich Got that great goal. What a play. You know, I have a good feeling because Ben Bayuski just made up with this goal. On a temper racing rebound, he put it right in between, off the pad, and went in the net. That house starts for the Boston Bruins. Get on their feet and on the board. Bruins are on the board. It's a 2 1 game with 437 to go. Now for the win for the Boston Bruins. Deep pass, no offside call. Max fired it. Sandine takes that puck. Now finds Abi Kubel. Abi Kubel to get into Malenstein. Malenstein shoots. Pat saved by Swayman. McAvoy kicked the puck out. Carlson over again to Sir Postka. Saved up by Swayman. Van Meijers with the puck. 3.30 left in the first period. Shoots for two. That one gets deflected and it goes right toward the wall. The Caps are back into the transition to go for another look at the chain. McAvoy's got it over to get to get Brooks. Looks it through. What will he do? The pass to Zaka. On the cut. Oh, what a save by the goaltender. That's nowhere useful because that goaltender put a poke check on that. That's going to be hard one to take. Hiding with the puck now find Geeky. Geeky on a slot. Zandine takes over again to Lapierre over now to a bench game. Here he comes. He goes down. And now it's McAvoy. Lost that puck. It's Grizzly. We'll have it again to Frederick. And Geeky will have it over. McAvoy trying to pull a stop. Oh, he went bushed down. Wilson's got it. Cut into the slot. Now save again by Swayman. Hiding with the puck. Avoids the defender to get over. Gift to Frederick. Shoots. What a save by Lindgren. 
Here in a final minute in the first period, it's still a 2-1 game. Well, it's all because of what happens now, because that is a big shutdown for Charlie McAvoy. Yeah, that one with a big hit. That turned great, and you can't take that one down. McMichaels wins the faceoff. Last minute remaining in the first period in the, in the game of the playoffs in game one. Mac Manfa over now to Edmondson. Shoots! That one's off the defender. This one goes right toward the board as Carlo will have it. Carlo trying to look over it. Now find Pasternak. Edmondson takes over. Pasternak! Oh, what a save by Lindgren. Now Lindgren was going to be a big timing and not really have to be all done like he had done it before. Shoots again. Save off by Swayman. Final seconds. And that will clear it out. End of the first period is a 2-1 game for the Capitals. We'll get that one good break and we'll get ready for the second period. You're watching the Stanley Cup playoffs on EA Sports of the NHL 24. Stick around. We'll be right back soon after this. On to the second period at the T Garden Arena. And we are off and ready. The ice is freshened up and ready to bring the players back up. Now let's have your take of what they did for the first recap of the period. Guys, well, all has to say for now because the Boston Bruins are really on to a full pressure zone. This was not their day, but I can tell you now because after they put up a loss against the Florida Panthers and the wildcard team, this might be a hard one that they're going to try to pressure it in between. I know it's, it's not really helpful, but let me say this. If something happens, I know I won't get defended up anyway, because there might be another new changeoff that could happen any long, but there is another new uh, switch off. Yeah, definitely agree with that one, I mean, you may never guess it, how you can handle it. That's blocked by Marshan. Now Marshan will have it. Trying to cut him down, but it's been tipped away, as now Wilson will have it. Wilson trying to cover it in. The save puts up again by Swingman. Kreslicek's got it over to get to McAvoy. McAvoy to DeBrus. Moves it inside. That's the Zaka. Shoots! Lindgren save! Past two minutes in the mark on ice. Ready for an hour faceoff. Now they're ready to do this one again. Still a 2 1 game. Now with the win for the Bruins, here's Kreslick, on a shot, blocked. Milano has it across, now again to Jensen. One-on-one -on -one attack. Now by Michelio, the cutting drive has been knocked out by Kreslick, and there's a lot of battle take. Back in there, what a save by Swayman. 16.40 to go in the second period. Still a lot of time left in between us two. If you're looking for your next game, we have a next matchup for you. Coming later here at 5 p.m. tonight, this will be the New York Rangers. And they are at the Garden to face against the other team, the Tampa Bay Lightning. As we mentioned before, they are always a great team. But unfortunately for the Red Wings, they're having a little bit of a difficult slow time to get there. Sometimes they could be a hard one to take, sometimes it may not be so great. Well, I don't know if how great it would be because the Detroit Red Wings, they're trying to get into the postseason and get in a wild card. But I'm thinking that if the Capitals win again, then they're going to definitely have to like win it all. Unfortunate for the real NHL Stanley Cup playoffs because there may not be anyone who's going for it. Stop the game by Swayman. The next two games will be happening here at 8 p.m. That will be, you know who, it's all calling for. One of each. Praise versus the Stars. And finally, we have is the Kings versus the Vancouver Canucks. That will be happening at Rogers Arena in Vancouver, Canada. And for Dallas Stars and Predators at Dallas and American Airlines Center. That will be all here, right here on, on Son of Beats. Lowry shot. Green out of traffic. This one's knocked away. And this one goes to back. Oh, what a stop by Lindgren. And he scores. Lindgren has seen it. 
that Van Mayer has got that call. That's what you always say because let it fly, let it handle, then turn to be all. You can see what happened to Lindgren. It did not see that one coming because that is a big escape. He could have tried to attempt to save it, but it just tipped in. That was a hard one. That means you call that. The Bruins and the Caps are tied with 15 minutes to go. And now that they're on with another face-off play, they're looking to see if they can get a face-off to go with the score. When he scores! There's the goal head goal for Frederick. That's his first goal in the playoffs. Number 30. What a shot. This range is awfully a uh, tough one to take. Now you can take a lead and go for the give off run. As you know that Frederick was able to do that one here, that isn't going to be a tightness. But as you know that, Frederick got it all with a piece of it and he took that one all with his courtesy step moment. They now have their lead as Frederick has his first goal to take their lead for the first time in the playoff season. Now finds and Dean over again to the Caps. Wilson finds a Benchkin shot. Saved again by Swingman. Sandin shot. Oh, almost went tipped in, but Swayman saw that coming and he decided to stick it out. With the next one inbound, it's a 3 2 lead for the Boston Bruins. Buck is dropped as the play resumes with Loraggi. Give off to Carlo. Taking it along by Kiki over to get to Frederick. Frederick right toward the right wing. This one gets chopped out as Sandim has it. Swings across to Lapierre. Lapierre on his way. That gets chopped up and it goes right toward the wall. Ovechkin hit it. He scores. Oh, wow. That's two goals in the playoffs. They are tied again. Well, not for long. Alex Ovechkin really got that one coming in fast. He says, nope. You know what? Let's do it again. That one tipped it over, yep. I know that was gonna happen like that. Alex Ovechkin just had two goals. There is a tie between Van Myers and, of course, the captain of the, of the Cats, Alex Ovechkin. They are really flying down. Coyle wins the face off as Zari, he will have that puck in range. He gives again to Marchand. Sandin takes the puck away. He now will send it over to Tom Wilson. Lap here with the puck as Marche will have that puck after a miscommunication for the Washington Caps. He went down as Pachoretti will have it over to Carlson. He now finds Strom, again to Sandin. Sandin watching in trouble, he finds Coyle. Coyle on a race inbound. Shoots! That deep one stopped again by Lindgren. And we'll hold the whistle in play with this only 12.26 to go. Ready for another face-off, ready to get back into it. It's still a tie game. Strong wins the face-off. Watch already finds Carlson. Carlson lost the puck as McAvoy will have it. He now finds Zaka. Zaka flying in a big cream. Now looks to Van Meyer. Shot is saved again by Zimbray. Oh, what a good chance here for the Bruins to keep that goal up. Strong with the win. Here's Sandin. Lifts it, gives a go to Pertoretti. Pertoretti with the puck. Now finds Strong. Shot, he scores! Back in the lead for the Capitals. Dylan Strong with his 91st goal in the playoffs. Looking for more to get up ahead. This is what you call that one here because Dylan Strong made that one with a tricky look. He had that one with the pass in the corner, and then this one turns to be like in deflected go for Dylan Strom, made that goal and count. That's what happens, and no one has ever seen what goes ever, and he's gotten it through. That's what happens, because Dylan Strom really has made that one all of his opinion. He had no other choice, he decided to get that one a go ahead goal, and he had that one coming in by. He's flying in there, we have to see if the Capitals can do it again.
Lizzik finds the Bruskin. Now Zaka will have it. Here's another take for Zaka. Trying to watch it between. That shot went wide. Strom's got a puck. The Capitals will have their puck in possession and as Carlson will have it. Now here's well I know he will have it over. Lost the puck as the press will have it. He's all alone! Scores! Jake DeBrusk on a full breakout. Now back to tie it. That's what you do because Jake DeBrusk really had that goal in time. What a breakout. He was all alone. He was like, ready, set, go. Take the shot. And he just saw that one coming in. He just flies out there with wheels and he beats Lindgren. That is crazy good. What a shot. And you know what happens now because Jake DeBrus really see that one there coming. He makes it fast, makes it clear, doesn't have it all. I mean, what are they going to do without them? Here's Pasternak and Edmondson takes the puck. McMichael past the midway mark of the period in the second. McAvoy has that puck. Now he finds the Pasternak. Pasternak's right toward the wing and now he will give it over to Marshan. Lost that puck. Puck clears out as Coyle will have to regroup. Marshan, oh, he got bunched over. Here's Coyle, and Shenning will give it again to McMichael. Malgavoy takes a putt steal. Fouling in a center zone, and now it's Protoss. He will have it into the Bruins territory. Mapachet, saved by Spayman. Nearing down the minute here, with under 10 minutes remaining, still a tie game. Now we'll have to do this one again. It's still a tie game. With the win, here's McAvoy. 8.50 left to go. Finds Frederick. Frederick trying to take his own time. Moving around and back. And Frederick, two-timer, can't handle the pressure. Carl shot. Rick Brockett stales away as it's denied by Lindgren. There's no other question that it was going to happen like that because LePere just saw that it was going to be a close reign. That was no choice of what they do. They just can't feel it. They can't even get there. And Carlo will have it. Knock the puck out of here. Jennings got the puck. He now he has it over in, passing through the line with under 7.30 to go. Two on one fast break. Locked up. Lorraine will have his phone time to look for more room. Ovechkin trying to take the steal. Now he finds Carlson. Looks to Wilson. This one stopped. And a good one take here for the defender. Frederick chopped it up by Ovechkin. Brings their team back in for the Bruins territory. Ovechkin, three time no story. Swayman stops it with just only 6.30 to go. If Ovechkin would have had that goal, that would have been like, uh-uh, not my day to be here. Now they're ready to do another face-off, still a tie game. And now Lorraine will have it over to Carlo. Here comes Carlo. Shoots, shot blocked. Carlson now finds Strom with 6.10 to go. He gets pushed out. Locked up. Gets again to Myers. And Myers over to Anna Carlo. Carlo lost that puck. Carlo has it again, trying to recover it. To shoot for the lead, Lindgren denies it. Now with the win for the Bruins, here's Kreslick. Shoots! Van Myers gives it back to McAvoy. That one denies him again. Still 5.25 left to go in the second period. Still a tie game. Strom wins the faceoff. Sandini got pushed down. Nebrus got it now into the side of the deck. Now back behind the net. Zaka shot. Great stop again by Lindgren. Milano, oh, made that one tripped around. Van Myers takes the puck. Strom's got it. Toward the middle. Blocker stop again by Swayman. 
The Brust fouling for the puck. The Capitals are back in the offensive zone. Saka takes a seal. Carlson has that one back. Give the deep pass to the lineup. That's blocked and redirected right behind the net. The Brooks got it out right into the Bruins onto the cap side. Oh, he went pushed down there. And he'll have to feel out on energy tomorrow. Watch out now. There is no stopping here. You're never going to get it done right away. Here's McMichael shot. Oh, move around. Stop made by Swayman. Just 3.30 to go. What a save. Now there's still not much time left here to go with the lead or stay the same. McMichaels wants the face off. And now Manfa will have it in the corner. Edmondson lost his puck. Brodas and McConnell. Michael with the shot and a save puts in for Swayman. Wolverspoon will have that ball in good coverage, and now he will bring the team in to the Caps territory. Shannon Kirk now finds Pasternak. He is Marshan. Looks again at Wolverspoon. Tries to get to Shankrock. Marshan open look. Now wide off the mark, and this one's denied by Lindgren. Good save. Lindgren's going to hold it up with just only 2.17 to go in the second period. Now that call, David Pasternak has his snipe zone ability. He has made it one of his better techniques. He can try to snipe that goal and take all of his credits. It may not be hard enough, but you'll see what he does. They're going to save me by the way. 2.07 left to go in the second period. It's still a tie game. Now ready to do for more. Now with the win, here's Jensen. Jensen gives again to Ovechkin. Ovechkin slides across in between from the red line to blue line. And saved by the big Swayman. Here's Jensen. With a shot, saved by Swayman. Just 90 seconds in the second period. It's still a tie game. Another one coming in for the time on attack for between the two, 4-10 and 4-11. Side score game. Caps wins the faceoff. And that one turns it over as Schengenkirk will have it. Coyle's got that puck. Now into the Caps territory. Last minute remaining in the second period. Still no score in the game to get the lead off, but there's a lot of great battle take with the goals in between. From up and downward to tie to, to lead and tie again to lead. That's going to be a lot of change off in between. Yeah, there's no other way with that. Really has to change it and go with a lot of like a heat seeker. You know, everybody is not perfect, but that's all they do. They don't want to leave them out. Say by Lindgren. Carlson, nobody going to fetch him. Will he have more room to shoot? Say by Swayman as the buzzer goes off. Oh, what a goaltender perfection. Still a tie game. A breakout zone for DeBrus. And we will be back with a third period right after this. Stick around later, and we'll get to you soon. Alert! This is just it. I have finally am telling you everything. The tickets are on sale now. If you're all in tuning into Animation Epics and Jack and Jellybee's page on the other side, we've got your tickets here. It's up happening here with six new locations. First two, as we see last year, was New York and Los Angeles, California. The second ones are coming in by with three new locations. That's right, three new locations. That's in between, right in between of Houston, Texas, Seattle, Washington, Chicago, Illinois, and Fort Lauderdale, Florida. Well, that is what we are calling for. If you're getting to look for tickets here, make sure you catch on now. There will be much more to keep that one incoming. Starting in here on June 29th to the 30th, July 6th, July 13th to 14th, July 20th and 21st, July 27th, and August 3rd and 4th. If there are any other considerations, if you would like to take your tickets, they're on sale now. So don't wait here. What are you waiting for? Get yours today. That's right, Nickel knows that rules. You might be even attending to see all the free previous of the first episodes of this one. That goes with, you know what I mean, Sadie on the first side, 
and then with the BFDI of the TPMT, and then at the last three side would be all you know for BFDI A. That is totally true. Season two is back, and you may never guess it, how this goes. So if you want to stale your tickets in, get yours now, or get the link in the description here for AnimeSanity.com slash tickets, and you can be the next one in there. Hope you all enjoy this show, and VIP's also there too. Let's get you back into the game. Nickel, out. We are back for the third period, ready to take on in Boston. I hope you enjoy this one, and this is where it comes down to the final period of the first game. With all of my crew, let's have a look at how they did in the first second period. They're all saying because of a recap has to be like Alex Ovechkin. And then Ben Myers came back. But then all that happened is that goal had to be turned out to be the lucky one at all. It's nothing but they were concerning of it because they really are all to it in a full type zone. I have never seen what anybody does. But as you may have already noticed, this wasn't a day that's worthwhile. While they're taking that one a big use of his skills, on that process does not know all of it because it keeps on coming and down, what goes with the next? I was really hoping that if there would be another saving coming inbound if there was another new switch off luck, they're gonna be changing it all the way down. But not for anybody, they're gonna keep that one going in. Now back again, shot, that's the nine and blocked away by Grizzly. Grizzly's got the puck with now passing a minute mark in the third. Now here's Ovechkin, looking to get a lead, Suits! oh saved by Swayman, what a big stop effort on the defender. That is what you always do, Swayman keeps on coming. Officials again set, ready for the faceoff, 18-02 remaining in the third period. Now Flores wins the faceoff, try to take the rebound, but it's stopped by Swayman. Grezelchek went down, and Strom has it. Now finds Pritchard On the fast break in the middle, finds Strong and saved by Swayman. McAvoy finds the Brits. He's on it onto the left wing. Trying to look for more round that once get popped out. Good pass saved by, by Lindgren. The Capitals are regaining a group in the offensive zone. Zaka's got the puck. Now back the airway for the Bruins to the Caps territory. Zaka finds again to Lorraine. Lorraine again to Zaka. Crawl on a shot. That's stopped again by Lindgren. 16 23 to go in the third period. Still looking for a first leadoff in the first period of the second day. Now with the win for Stroll. Here's Carlson, now finds Sandine, and now here's Milena. Milena right into the racing slot. This one gets bumped out. DeBrusque has it. DeBrusque gives a pass over to Van Meijch. He's on the slot inside, and Carlson will have it over again to Lapierre. Lapierre gets smashed down a bit, and Benchkin, oh, what a big tackle takedown. The Bruins are not always going to be easy enough that you're going to have to try to keep it on your own. There may not be a switch, but it might be a hard thing, but they're going to have to keep on coming down. They have to do is try to take that puck and get that one out of here. No can do, no siree. The win for the Bruins. Pat saved by Lindgren and here comes the fight. Oh boy, I don't know what to say. It looks like he's been crushed down. I think that slam is going to be hurtful right at that moment. It's not good anyway, and I don't know what to do with him now, but he's got to get out of here, and he's going to get whipped off. And the fight is over. You know what happens now because that fight was going to be a brutal look. You know how painful it is? Tom Wilson was going to come up there and then try to like come with the attackers. That's going to mess the Bruins on the defenders. Both guys are in a penalty box for fighting for five minutes. Now ready for another faceoff. 
And a win once again here by, by LaPierre. Here's Milano on the puck and cover inbound with 15 minutes remaining. He passed the Ovechkin shot. Good stop by Sam Wayman. Ian will have that one inbound. The love slot goes down. Milano's got that puck. Back again to Ovechkin. Ovechkin trying to work his way across. That stopped. Wawerspoon gives again to Kainen. Heinen again to Brazil. Raizo dumps the puck into the Caps territory. Now the Caps are back in offense. Here's Milano. He'll have that one over into the right side to the left. Milano coming down. This one stopped by Geeky. Geeky gives the pass to Brazil. Raizo again to Heinen. Here's another look for Heinen. Try to get the pass. The a spoon shot. That went wide. That was going to be a hard defender. That one is going to take another kid for the Capitals to take a look at. That is not going to happen because that one keeps it alive out of the way. Another shot went missed. And Spino scores! What a making play for Heinen. First goal in the playoffs. Now has 71. So that's what they do. Danton Heinen. What a play. And that goal has to be a clearer look at the edge. That one really has to keep going over the slot, and that may be the hard thing just to keep that one coming in. They're back in the lead, and you know that Hyden was able to do what he does. That go-ahead goal puts him a lot of a lurpy range out there. He making that all that clear. And now it's going to be a great goal to take the net. That one turns to be like a good range. Good take. Here's McAvoy, fine pass to Knox. After a one-time goal, he wants to take more. Stopped by Lindgren, just 12-19 remaining in the third period at the regulation. Ready for our face-off? It's a 5-4 game. A win for the Capitals, and now he gives again to Products. He goes stop, and Carlson will have it over. Block that one shot with a big pass, excuse me. Portis finds again a man for shot. That's blocked. What a great defensive recovery. Marshan on a two on one fast break. Now the puck takes over by Edmondson. Scrumbling along the board is Coyle. Marshan's got it now. Oh, that was too close, but Marchand didn't see that Lindgren was grabbing that puck right to the side of the net. Well, to keep that play in bound, you have to cover it up because that little bit of a fire drill, do it right away. Coyle wins the face off as McAvoy gives to Greslick. Jensen's got the puck with only 11-10 to go. Dumped it into the Drone Bruins territory. And now McAvoy. We'll have it over to Marshan. Marshan right toward the right wing. Loses the puck control. Oh, what a take down here. But McMichael's got it. Rotas in a, in a corner right in the center ice, and he loses control. Marshan has that puck. Deep slot. This is Zaka. After he went down, the new replacement goes to DeBrusque. Jensen's got that puck and over again to Strong. Ryan Strong right towards the right. Going to the middle now. What a save by Swayman. Past the midway mark of the period. Still a 5-4 game. Now they're ready to do this one again. The NBA playoffs is about to begin here after the second game has been complete. Then we will step you down into the NBA playoffs as we are changing things up differently to start things off. After that one, we'll go back to hockey for games three and four. So stick around here, and we'll be trying to see what they can do to keep on coming down. Bam, I a shot. What a stop by Lindgren. 9-12 remaining in the third period, as there's still a lot of time left to get in. Now they're ready to do another face-off in between of the Caps and Bruins. Now the win for Stroll. Here's Jensen. Pass to Milano. Nine minutes to play in the third. Good block by Swayman. You know, an easier way to do because the Swayman is really doing it all for his percentage. That has to be a lot accuracy, and he has to get this thing down. 
Now they're ready to do one again. 5-4 is the score for the Bruins, up by one. After a face-off win, he goes to Ben Tezaka. Here comes the Bruins. Milano takes the puck away. Oh, that one's going to be a wipeout. I think he's going to pay for it. Oh, there's a payback lesson here. Show them what you got. Don't get in flutter away. Here's the boss. Oh, what a stop by Lindgren. 8.07 left to remain in the third period. Ready for another face-off. Coming in. That's going to be a hard one. That is the biggest crash site near the blue line. I don't know what to tell you, but that is like, boom, you're out of here. Now the win again for the Capitals and Zandine gives to Carlson, now again to Wilson. Wilson fires that puck out. Now it's recovered by Lapeer. Here's Carlson, now again, over back to Lapeer. Lapeer lost that puck control, battling for the take behind the net. Here's Ovechkin, here's the shit, what a save, two times stop by Swayman. Oh, he's been looking good, excellent consideration to go with a save look. That offense is going to pick up much more difference than he has done. Here's the Prusky look out that puck, racing inbound, he lost that one. And Carlson has that puck right in toward the right, back to Wilson. Wilson trying to make his way down, and now back to Wolverspoon. Wolverspoon trying to look for more help. In the range sight, got to Carlson. Again to Lapierre. Lapierre right in towards the right wing. In the left. Oh, he went slain down, and Lapierre's hurt. Uh-oh, that's not good, because Lapierre was going to get caught. He knew he was going to have it happen again. And then we'll have to make a timeout on the, on the, the ice as Lapierre will have to make his medical attention room. Let's watch that one again because he was bangled it. He got hit from a stick. That's going to cause him to mess him up from the players on the offensive side. And now we're ready for another faceoff. It's still a 5-4 game for the Boston Bruins. Now with the win, here's Grezik. Back to Coyle. Coyle in the right wing. Gets hammered down as Van Myers will have it. Now back to Mantha. The two brothers in between the Van Myers had that one coming in. But they look like they want to do it all over again. Wow, what a hit. I don't know what they say because Van Myers can just really want it at all. May have a difference in between on what player goes in, what players comes out. It looks like two Van Myers, Fred and the other one of Van Myers. It looks like the brothers are definitely playing each other. They want to see what they can do. Oh, that's good shot. What a stop by Swayman. Just enough to get the piece of it and stays out of the net. Van Myers tries it and Pashinox takes a go away from the puck. Coyle on her way down. Four minutes remaining in the third period. Still looking for a heavy lead. Loses the puck. Strom takes it over. Now find Ovechkin. Ovechkin trying to handle the move. And now backing over again is DeBrusque. DeBrusque fires it around on the net. Trying to shoot and scores! Jake DeBrusque. Two goals in the playoffs. 121 of this career. That's a great uh, look on the head. Jake DeBrusque knew it all. Could stay the day. And that's what you're talking for. Jake the Crust fired that one in there to give it up and go. To snipe it by Lindgren. Took that one away. And it's now a 6-4 game. 323 left to go as we have a medical attention alert. I'll give it off to OJ and see what he's got. OJ, where are you at? Thanks guys, I was talking over to up here and with that one with the situation of what goes in, he scores! Strong back in one point lead advantage! Oh, that was close. That was almost going to defect it in on the goaltender. This would have been an interference. It looks like he did not get that one enough time. That took it over again. The Capitals cut their lead score for the Bruins down by one. And let me go back to OJ again. Let's see what your take is. 
Thank you again. As I said before, Lapeer has already been in the medical detention room. What happened again was causing the stick to get bounced out. He had made his one a lot tricky to make a harder set. This inbound is not turning to be a great day for him, and this one got really bad and to try to keep on coming out. With the medical response, we'll have to find out if Lapeer will play it again for the next game, and we'll see what he can do. Back to you, Terry. With the call, let's have a look for OJ. Alex Ovechkin been doing really much hard of his work. His one-time T-motion has gotten great effort. I always think of him, he's been like a best. Keep an eye on him if he gets more. After that one, here's Melanson now back to get to Mantha. And now pass to Sandin. He passed to Wilson. Wilson, as the crowd goes with us with a low silence, he makes another save. And Saka has that puck. Clears the puck out into the Caps territory. Two minutes remaining in the third period. One minute remaining in the power play for the Caps. As Carlo will have it. And it's broken up. Mampa! Good poke by Sweeman. Frederick clears the puck out. It's going to be a close game as we approach down to a 90 second mark. Mampa trying to work his way down. And this one's stopped. Carlo has it. 30 seconds for the power play for the Caps. Wilson loses the puck. Malenstein will have it here. Back to Wilson. Open room. Here's Mampa. And oh! That hit off the goalpost. That one's going to be a really close call. Nothing you can't handle. Stay by Swayman. The power play is over as the man advantage is still on for the Capitals. And here he comes. Zaka. Win it. Score. That's how you do it. The first game comes in for Pavel Zaka. Outstanding 2 of 7 to 5. Well, that's how you do it. You hit that mark, you just fire it away. Bullseye! That shot goes near it. Well done. The Bruins up again with a two-point extension lead with 32.3 seconds. And now we're winning for Zaka. He now has it over to get the Van Mike. Second to last possession for the Bruins. And this one stopped again by Lundgren. They're always going to have a lot of fun right now. The Bruins are wild now. It's a great wild start for the first period. He passed again to Brett. Shoots! Blood by Lindgren. Nary down 15 seconds. It's still a 7 5 game. Now they will have Ray to take another advantage here for the pack playoffs in for their faceoff win. The win for the Capitals. Stinson will have it. Last seconds remaining for the Capitals. Everyone counts down. And that will do it. Austin Bruins wins the first game of the night. Beating over the Ovechkin team of the Capitals. Well played for now. And you know Swayman does it all. Can say for everyone a big win. Big victory tonight. We all salute fans. A great celebration. You can call it for all. Well, thanks for so much for joining us, and you'll be sticking around for the second game of the season of the playoffs. We'll find out what we can do. 7 5 is your final score. Terry Cruz, along with Son of Beast and DJ Beast OJ. This has been a presentation of the Stanley Cup playoffs. Thanks for joining with us. See you next time. All right, thank you. As now we start with three star players, Alex Ovechkin with two goals and four kicks, made that one clearly impossible. Second star goes out to Giants Van Myers with two goals and two kicks. And your first star player, Jake DeBrosk, with two goals and two kicks. Let's have a look in between for the total statistics. 57 shots on goal, turned to be up insane, over 51. Then it was the Capitals that turned to be a 45-45, even with the hit. Boston and Washington. Then it was 642.
A great call over Boston Bruins with over 601. 91% over 90 for Boston. 32 over 27 for the Washington Capitals. They could have done better. Five minute penalty kill was, was the Washington Caps. Nine minute penalty kill was Boston Bruins. One power play goal for Washington with 2.30 in the power play minute. And yes, say this. Nobody has that offensive to take the goal. But that's what you do? Keep that in the slot. Well, I hope you enjoy your first game. If you're sticking around for the second game, we'll be right with you shortly for the Rangers on the boats out the garden. First night here for the Boston Bruins and the, and the Lightning since 2022 of the Stanley Cup playoffs of the Eastern Conference Finals. See you all next time. Or as a while as the Ani Chow 22 on EA Sports Style coverage of the Stanley Cup playoffs. And we'll see you all again pretty soon. Until next time, be sure to follow him on his social media. And if you don't, somebody will. If you don't, if you don't, somebody will.